Rock and G Farm, I'm holding my, hand, my husband's hand because we have ice and now we're having snow flurries. Hold on. Come on, we'll get a picture of hot water so you can get in that door. Oh, and we're having to use hot water to unfreeze the doors. Oh, I gotta get off this ice. I took my sock, my big socks off, so I'm going to get up here back on the porch where there's no ice. So, <laughs> we're going to take care of the cows. We're going to go put in some more feed. I think another, oh, can you see them? They're all right there by the round bells, holders for the round bell hay. <laughs> so, they're really wanting some hay today. So, um, we put some out the other day. They're still... Looks probably um, maybe a half a bell that's still out there in the field, but we'll probably go get another bell and then I'm gonna have to go to all of the chicken waterers and pour some hot water on their waterers because their waters are frozen. So, and you know, I didn't buy, I didn't buy heated ones because this only happens very, very infrequently, but this happens to be the last two winters that this has happened. But um, I'll put some hot water on their um, water pails so that they will unfrost. They should have plenty of feed. I fed them yesterday, but I'll go back and see and make sure everything is okay. Um, but I'll take you around to the front because it's been, oh, you can hear it. it's come down heavier. And this side of the house is like super, super cold because we live on a hill. And as you can see, we get lots of wind and you can see there's ice and everything back on the solar panels and ice back there. Um, last night I brought the big Doberman painter in because he has short hair. Kept him in the in the I kept him in the refrigerator. <laughs> I kept him in the laundry room, and it was so windy. I was letting him out to go to the bathroom last night because Hunter was working and. When I opened the door, literally, I felt like a cartoon because the door swung open so fast and so hard. I literally went flying out the door. The door went smoop, and then the dog comes out on the ice. So it was quite a, quite a funny thing to see. But he's got the um, door open, and I'm gonna flip y'all around real quick because I'm holding y'all's in my hand instead of on a tripod because I don't want to fall. Okay, let me flip y'all around. Okay, he's getting the the pellets that we're gonna feed, the protein pellets going down the ice. And this is a good, probably one and a half inches of ice, you think? Please, half Almost two inches of ice, you can see this is all ice on our... This is, and it's still sleeting and it's coming down pretty heavy. The little birds are coming out. Last year I had to put a whole bunch of bird feed out for the birds that were around the... Uh yeah. Hold on! Go, 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 go. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah! You love it. Yeah. My man. vlog for today and then uh this evening i'm gonna go in and make a sourdough starter does that sound good babe some sourdough bread maybe next week yeah. and then you can see we're coming over here there's the round bells that we keep these close just for these instances so we can get them closer to the house just like last year and we're going to use our bed trailer what's the name of the bed Cannonball Bell Man. Whoa. He's like, what is going on? Whoa. Whoa. Look at that, all that ice on there. This is fun for us because, you know, we don't get this very often. So when we do, we all 
we um, completely come to a stop. Going down my shirt and we've got the cannonball bed getting ready to pick up the round bells so we can take them out to the round bell feeders for the cows. And looks like our neighbor's donkeys are up. Farmers know it's hard to get. Oh, this is bad. Chain is a little bit. I'm getting it. Don't laugh at me. I might be tiny, but I am fierce. can get to it but not stroll it all over the ground and this is just what you do when you're a farmer you have to take care of everything he's got to go to do a, a minimum of 10 hour shift tonight so he's doing this before he has to go to work Yeah, this is the Port of Cowboy and that Yellowstone doesn't show is what my husband just said. Yellowstone shows all the fun stuff. This is the stuff that real life. This is real life.
they're still following him because they know that he has the protein pellets on the back of the truck. And they want those more than they want the hay. Don't you? Yeah. I'm just going to turn around and let you watch them because they like to come running. They love those protein pellets. There they go. Those are the protein pellets. Come on, buddy. Go get yours. gloves not let's take care of animals in the ice gloves okay that's them for now now focus ready here we go <laughs> 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 you did it oh sorry guys dropped you Okay guys, I've got some hot water here and I'm just gonna go pour it on my chicken's waterer because I know it's gonna be frozen solid, but at least it'll, um, oh crap, these steps. Um, here comes this ice again. Um, Cause I know that the water is gonna be frozen and I won't be able to get it undone, but at least, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. I did that and water went down my shirt over my head and into the back of my boot. So I'm just gonna get out here and get this done, feed them a little more feed, get them some heat from the feed and all the birds. Okay. My little dog bear is, but y'all know, thanks he's a big dog. And they're all in there in their little warm enclosure right there. They are um, eating and they stay warm. So let's just pour some water on this. And then some I'll probably have to come out and do that again tonight. But at least I'll have some water when I walk back out. There go, babies! I'll have to do that to the other pins. And of course, one of, ooh, this is like a shelf of ice. This is Meaner's pin over here. I'm gonna have to go. I've got another thing of water. Um, <laughs> got another thing of water in the coffee pot. Um, getting hot. And I'll come and do those last two. I'll go in here in the greenhouse and get some scratch for them. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. You can hear the Oh no, I hope my roof doesn't collapse. Oh well, okay, let me get some scratch for them. 
and also to help with some of the birds out on the property. So we got scratch. Okay. And the heater's on, but it's I'll see what it is in a minute on the temperature. Coco's got his little strip top on. Okay, let's go here and get some of this scratch to the chickens. Like this is not my most favorite thing to do, but on um I don't know if I'd rather be out in the cold or the heat. They're both just as miserable. But, um, yeah. This sleet is now going down my back. Put your some down here on top of your... So, there you go, some. Let me go get some more. Oh, yeah. Sleet's coming through my back. There they are. See them? Getting their feed. Yeah. This is sounding like ice shelf when you walk on it instead of, well, it is ice, but it's, keep them warm for a while. And I'm still gonna turn out get the water. Are out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh crap, that's heavy. Sorry guys, I tried to get that in there a little better, but that is really frozen. Oh well, that's as good as I can get that right there. Everybody's got food. I've got couple more waters to come out and get unfrozen. Let me see if there's any eggs in the chicken coop. I don't know. Probably my own. I don't know if I can add up in there. It might be frozen. No, it's not. But we do have chicken eggs. Whoop. Egg. Put it in my pocket. Hopefully not crack them. There's three in here. another one down here. Got me a brown one. And that would be all. Okay, so those are in my pocket. Let's go get some more water to defreeze their waters. Okay, it is um right at 34 degrees in here. At least it's not completely frozen. I did put some sheets. It looks like a hot mess in here. Put a whole bunch of sheets on top of all of my plants. I brought two of my Alberta um, dwarf blue spruce in here. I covered them up. Got the heater on next to the worms. Put some more uh, straw on them last night just to keep them above freezing. Coco, you want me to pull that down? There. All right, let's lock, lock this back and we will go get the hot water. It should be done now. Uh, I wonder if anybody needs any more straw. I put new straw out last night. Let's see if anybody needs some new ones out here today. You in there? Uh -huh. They look good and big boys look good on theirs. Okay. Get some more hot water. Yeah, 
ice storm again. Ooh, wee. Oh, there's my chicken. Still found pets on the cat. Meow, meow. Meow. <coughs> meow, meow. I know she's probably, well, she might be under the house. <coughs> she has a tendency, <coughs> if we don't let her out, she'll go in the middle of my bed and think that she can potty on my bed, but I was making a point to not let her out. Let me get Hunter to get me some water. Hey, babe. Oh, he must be in the... Take my shoes off. Okay, let me get the hot water. Here. get these out to those other chicken coops and then we'll be done for the day. Wow! Mm. <laughs> now we can't. Okay guys, I'm out here and I'm not carrying my phone with a or anything I'm just using my hands so that it won't be so hard for me to um, do things but I just thought this water is going to be hard to get because it's underneath the, there's all this ice and this is extremely heavy this is like over this has got to be 60 pounds I can pick up a bag of feed better than I can with this okay yeah let me put y'all down it won't break you on the cold. Here. Come on, babe. There it is. So, it broke a little bit. You can see it. Yeah, it's steaming now. Let me get the other ones I've been done, too. That should defrost them for a couple of hours. I'll just have to do it again tonight. <laughs> None of the animals want to be out. Let me pour this water out. Okay, guys. That's it for this <clears throat> icy Thursday in central Arkansas. Where it's very, very cold and nothing but a sheet of ice everywhere. So we'll give you some more updates and some more videos that might not deal with animals, but might deal with something crafty since I probably won't be able to get out much and do a lot with the animals other than what you just saw because it looks like it's going to be a couple more days of just maintenance okay guys I'll make what you have beautiful <laughs>